Hello, Appalachian Living family. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I have missed you all so very much. So, my daughter just came back from a Mountains to the Coast um, college campus tour. She came home late last night. And um, she was wanting some uh, strawberry shortcake bars before she left. So I told her when she got home, we would make them. You can look online. There's hundreds of recipes to choose from. So we're going to start out with a 9 by 9 inch pan. Unfortunately, I don't have a 9 by 9 I just have an 8 by 8 So we're going to use what we have. You're going to line it with aluminum foil and then spray it with nonstick spray and then for your bars you're going to use one box of vanilla cake mix and this was the only cake mix well vanilla that I could find at my one grocery store they had white cake mix but I thought the French vanilla would probably taste a little bit better then you're going to use um, two large eggs And then a third of a cup of vegetable oil. So one and two. Put them here. Wash my hands. And let's get our vegetable oil. Now it says to use an electric mixer. Or electric stand or whatever stand mix or whatever you have but as you guys know I don't have hand mixer so I'm gonna use just mix it with a spoon and you're going to mix it until it forms kind of like a dough and if I didn't tell you that was one third cup of vegetable oil. Let's see if you see that So it's starting to form a dough pretty quickly. Not taking much time at all. Then we're going to press this into our prepared pan. Alright, so we have it to where our dough has formed. And it is a sticky dough. I'll tell you that. So we're going to press it let me get a spatula so I have my spatula here and I have found a great way to not have things stick to it is to spray it with non-stick spray any kind you have I get it good and then once we have the bottom of this covered we are going to bake it for 20 minutes or until the edges are lightly brown all right guys I'm just gonna have to go for it I didn't want to My hands are clean don't worry <laughs> Okay, now let's pop it in the oven for 20 minutes. All right, so we just took it out of the oven. Now, it does feel a little bit soft in the middle, so I'm guessing that's probably normal. Um, I've never made, there's my son Troy. I've never made uh, this recipe, but it's, it, it's firm too. So we're going to sit and let it cool all the way, and then we're going to make the crumble topping. All right, family, so our little, uh, I guess, bars are cooling. So, um, we are going to make the crumble. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to combine three ounces of strawberry jello. Now, guys, if you just so happen to want to make a different flavor other than strawberry, you're more than welcome to. You can use whatever flavors you would like. So let's get our strawberry jello. I think I said jelly, didn't I? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's already been a long day, loves. 
All right, then we're gonna mix in four tablespoons of softened, unsalted butter. Yeah, that was a mouthful. So mine has been softening for a while. And I'm trying, I'm just chasing it around. All right, so I've got my four. Ah, it is so soft. <laughs> my four tablespoons. All right, sorry guys, had to wipe off my hands. And then we're gonna add in a half a cup of all-purpose flour. And we are gonna mix it until we see a crumble beginning to form. And I can tell you already that it smells so good. So I've never had this, so I'm so excited to try it. Kind of reminded me of those Good Humor um, Strawberry Shortcake Ice Cream Bars. I bet you you could freeze this once you're done my assembling it. I bet you could freeze it. All right, and now we're going to make the second little crumble thing. So we're going to combine our, the last of our four tablespoons of softened unsalted butter. And then it calls for a um, three ounce package of instant vanilla pudding mix. I could only find 3.4. So I hope it's not going to hurt anything, but I want to add it all since it's less than a half of an ounce. And then we also need another half a cup of all purpose flour. And then we're gonna mix it up until little crumbles form. This is gonna be so good. It's like just strawberries and cream is what it reminds me of, but it says, they call it strawberry shortcake. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Guys, while we are uh, mixing this up, let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 degrees. All right, so you, now you're gonna get a cookie sheet and you're gonna line it with parchment paper. I did put down alum, um, aluminum foil in case I make a mess. And then you're gonna take your mixture and you're gonna kinda just sprinkle it out onto your cookie sheet. You're gonna do this with both mixes. You're gonna bake it for 10 minutes total, but please check it around the five minute mark and flip it and we'll stir it if you can. And then check and make sure that nothing is burning because this does have a lot of sugar in it. I'm sure it wouldn't take too much for it to burn and that wouldn't taste too good. Get this one. It didn't say to not mix it like this, but I figure we're gonna be putting it on anyway, all together. Oh, guys, I just came up with an idea. Peach, if you made this with like peach jello, this would be like a peaches and cream. Oh my gosh, I love peaches. I bet you that would be so good. All right, so now we are going to make our cool it frosting while our little strawberry uh, crumble mixture cools down. So you need eight ounces of cream cheese, one cup of powdered sugar, and I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing it. And guys, if you have a hand mixer, please use your hand mixer. Hold on just a second, my son just turned on the tea. And I almost forgot guys, we are gonna add in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And let's get to mixing. And once we have this mixed up together pretty good, we're going to add in an 8 ounce tub of Cool Whip. Almost there. So we have that mixed together. Now let's grab our 8 ounces of Cool Whip and combine. It's kind of runny. Okay, 
fold that together. And that's my husband, guys. Let me get this mixed up. Okay, after it is mixed, you're going to take your Cool Whip frosting or cream cheese frosting to add it to the top. Nice, good, generous serving. Now remember, mine looks a little bit different because I did not have a 9x9 nine nine pan. I only had a 8x8. Eight eight. Try to put some over there. And you can freeze this, but please make sure that you store it in the refrigerator if you're not going to have it frozen. It's going to be so good. And let's get our strawberry crumbles. Ooh, they hardened up. I'm going to sprinkle them over the top. Have to break these apart a little bit. They're, they hardened up like cookies. That's really interesting. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? And guys, I will leave a link to this recipe in the description box so you know where I got it from. Guys, this is so pretty. It makes a lot too. Guess we'll snack on those little crumbles there. Not gonna have them go to waste. Alright, there you go.